is that um, uh, the project, the process is broken into several phases. And the initial phase can take a long time, six to 18 months. The, sec the second phase, which is developing the model and testing, can take another three to six months, so now we're up to possibly nine to 24 months. And then finally, uh, running the model and analyzing the results. It is iterative and can take um, possibly forever before being uh, suitably deployable. And finally, this ends up leading to more questions than answers. So these are some of the questions that we see that, that people suffer with when they're working through data analysis. And uh, so in comes Alice, and Alice says we can uh, manage manage the data um, by real-time predictive analysis, um, working through the data set to predict performance of products or services, um, and dynamically, uh, uh, well, do it needs to do. So uh, the timeline, as you can see here, is uh, significantly reduced. And unfortunately, I can't cite any real world examples because I'm under NDA, such as the life of a contractor. Um, so, uh, what I can show is this kind of vague list that shows that the, um, the data, the, the process is effectively well, is similar. However, we can go, we can uh, bring everything from setting up and configuring through doing the, the, the secret sauce that Alice does to deploying a model in just a couple of months. And now we've actually got a real world model that is doing predictive analysis based on your data sets and streaming of, you know, streaming of data, uh, historical data, whatever, in a couple of months. And we can uh, iteratively it, improve that on the running system, on the deployed environment. So we're extending the model and refining the model, adding where we need to to make it better. And that's all happening while people are actually using your system. And we're actually starting to do some some of that work um, and even tying it in with blockchain. But I wish you could tell you more. Anyway, so how this works is we have a, we basically start with an outcome in mind and tie that result to, uh, to financials and um, business models and um, then go through refine, refinement. And we're basically working our way backwards towards the data ingestion and clicking through. And so yeah, we can start we start basically with dirty data which is distributed all over. And, and um, work, working through that data set and eventually getting to a point to where we have deployable um, models that can be actually run on live data and give predictive results that are um, better than guesses. There we go. So how this works, when you actually deploy this, you actually you end up with a, an analysis engine, which could be a script or can be um, a server or could be embedded into another service. And this thing takes data sources, which could be Streaming data from sensors and live you know, IoT based equipment to historical data in a database to um, high order data um, derived from, from a blockchain store. But anyway, so the uh, analysis engine, which runs a variety of models to do the analysis, 
ends up with some prediction results which are passed through to a report generator, and that ends up producing, uh, could be alerts that go to a dashboard, or could be uh, reports that can be uh, imported into a PDF or something. And uh, anyway, so that's, that's the basic model for, for the, the Alice product. Um, so now we'll talk a little bit about the blockchain and how Alice fits with that. So blockchain provides um, you know, a time where transaction history. I know it does a lot more and you know, don't, don't shoot us, but I'm focusing on the transactions today. Um, and it also ensures the immutability of the data. So we have data which is historically uh, represented and, and, and true. Um, and so this, this represents uh, a very useful uh, source of, of, um, of data used for, for training us. Um, and also when we have smart contracts, these can provide uh, data sets that uh, can integrate the, the predictive data so we can basically store your predictions on blockchain and get improved results uh, over time because you're incorporating those predictions in with your uh, live measures in it. So how this works in EOS, since we're in the EOS uh, room, um, you know, EOSIO, for those of you who don't know, is a very pluggable protocol, is a very pluggable uh, um, framework. And so we can add new plugin modules to perform whatever, um, whatever behavior we want. And so we can uh, create an a Alice module, which is basically um, a plugin that would go into a node. And so you could put this node with the plugin on, on your network. And it would be able to track data being put into smart contracts and be able to fetch data from those smart contracts and you know, basically work with uh, external data sources so we can still have our live data streams. But we have, um, we have the, the analysis engine is baked right into the, the nodes. And so that gives us uh, more direct interaction with the uh, with blockchain. And of course, we can also store our, our tuning parameters, our machine learning scripts, which will be uh, stored in blockchain as well. So here's a couple of use cases that we came up with that aren't currently being implemented, but um, yeah, again, I have to be careful. Um, so, you know, just to give an idea of what, what this could be used for, um, uh, this first use case is focusing on the concept of trust and value. And so, you know, there's two blockchain provides a trust layer to the internet which enables um, it, it, it facilitates a more granular um, means of describing value and, and um, providing a very good proceeding and So this leads to the question how do we Determine who is who is who in the system is financially insured, and um, what or what communities are going to be hit by hardship. And so this way, we can use the analysis engine to model the um, financial information to find those those underserved communities 
I'll do something about it. Help them with whatever their, with whatever their conditions are.